Morning folks, welcome back to Betty's channel, she's doing the do as always. Uh, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, drop a comment down below, tell us what you think of the channel. So we're just going to go out now and see um, if the red oxide is dried okay and see what the van's like inside. So bear with and come with. It's not a bad day today either. Don't know if it's going to rain, but the sun's in the clouds there, which is nice. So yeah, here we go. There's bet A2. Oh. That looks alright. Smells a lot better as well. And that's the uh, floor. Let's just open up the. Um, just open up the side door. Yeah. Not so bad, ain't that? So today, hopefully, we can get the rest of the floor done and the well on the driver's side. So look at that. Yeah, it's not minging, it's just full of dirt. So I'm just going to do exactly the same as I did on the passenger side. Give it a good um, cleaning and um, paint it. Then... Actually, once this is, once I painted this, I can get the wheel arch matting and the floor mat, and then I can put the passenger seat in. And that's front end done then. It's all been cleaned and stuff. Uh, that's the passenger seat. I'm going to paint the uh, legs. Just rattle can on black, make them look a bit prettier. Driver seat's dried okay. Don't look too bad, so I'm going to have to clean it again there. But yeah, pretty impressed with yesterday's work actually. Come see us in a bit. Alright, just giving it a quick hoover out so it's ready to clean now. Just to the whole floor. I missed a bit in the middle. But yeah, so I'm going to clean this footwell up now and then uh, red oxide it and then I can put the cab mat down and this arch mat and get the passenger seat in so it's all coming together all right I cleaned it wiped it down just got to paint it all right I sat painted and protected let's put the rubbers back on now and move on to something else what else would you use wheelie bins for Apart from putting car seats on and spraying the bases. E. It's not the best paint job in the world, but just cheers it up a bit. It'll do. Right, so I've just cleared all the stuff from this side of the floor so I can clean that and then uh, de screw it and paint it. As well as I'm going to attempt. To put, in, to put in the cab mat. Right, that's the cab mat in. Just need to give it a bit of a clean. And then I need to put that wheel arch cover on. Then I can put the uh, passenger seat in. Okay, that's the wheel arch cover in. I did have to cut the uh, top off it. Just that cut this bit off, but it's not really insulated, so it didn't really do much. And it was a lot easier. Rather than unplugging wires and stuff. Done. So now I'm gonna get the passenger seat in. Oh, and the trims around the door um, steps as well. Which are here. That's the driver's side. So I'll get them sorted as well. And that's the driver's side pretty much done. I'll put all the trims back in. It's looking a lot cleaner and a lot less damaged than it did when I got it. So yeah, let's go over to the passenger side now. 
Right, that's the front and cab's done now. Clean. The dash will probably need another clean and the headlining will need a clean. But it's a hundred times better. Got a new passenger seat, new driver's seat, new cab mat, new wheel arch mat for the um, driver's side, and it's all clean. So I might just start it up and give it a bit of a tick turnover. But yeah, that's so much better that now. Yeah, well happy with that. A lot of hours, a lot of elbow grease, literally. But it's nice and clean and bacteria free. And next job, clean that half of the floor, de-screw it and paint it. And then, to give the rest of the van Really good wipe over, especially that shelf. Take them lights down, leave the vents in for the minute, change the back lights, sort the uh, brake light out, and then uh, we can start the build. Right, let's crack on with this bit of flooring. Right, so just cleaned this bit of the floor, I'm going to leave that till later on. I'm just going to red oxide this now, clean it with thinners, which gets rid of everything. Then give it a wipe down with some uh, floor wipes. It's dry now, so I'm just going to red oxide it. Right, that's a little bit of floor painted. So I'm just going to let that dry. Then I'm going to fill the little um, screw holes with Sikaflex. It's quite a big one over there. And then that's sealed, painted and protected. So I'm just going to very carefully now sweep all that dirt to the back and put it in the bin, ready for painting in a bit. I'm also going to paint the wheel arches red oxide because where the wheel arch covers have been, the square ones, the original plywood ones, they've screwed them into the wheel arch so that'll need protecting as well so I might as well just do the lot. I've got enough paint and I can just carry on cleaning. I'm getting there. Okay, that's the last bit of floor de-screwed and cleaned so i just need to paint that now and then when that's dry i can do the wheel arches when that's dry i can clean all the rest of the paintwork inside and then start messing about with that shelf because that needs um thinners on it give it a really good uh, clean then the wiring remove the lights oh it's never ending but i love it looks much better already Looking better when that floor's painted. <laughs> right, that's the whole floor painted now. All done. Just need to put the Sikaflex in the holes and the floor is finito benito. Cleaned, painted, protected. Yay. Thanks very much for watching uh, this episode of Betty 2's Makeover. Because uh, you know she's doing the do. So that's the floor done now. So. Uh, on to the next one for the next video, which will be in a few days, I think. Yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up, give us a like, give us a subscribe, drop a comment down below. Tell me what you think about Betty 2, because you know, she's Mark 2, Betty Mark 2. There's Betty 1. There's Betty 2, because she's doing the rule. Anyway, thanks a lot, and we'll see you soon. Oh, by the way, just keep doing a what? I will see you very soon.